this committee meeting to order. Um, certification compliance with open meeting law. Oh, um, public notice has been sent. You. Bruce Paulson. Yeah. Don Pettit. Yes. Ron Kinsley. Here. Tom Duffy. Here. Thank you. Indicate we have a quorum. Next thing is a meeting agenda. Uh, Mr. Kinsley, <clears throat> I think uh, agenda item number uh, number nine be had um, finance committee finance committee twenty twenty one calendar. What do you want to do with number nine, please? I would I would like to change the bold heading to uh, Finance Committee 2021 calendar because uh, that's the uh, agenda item. It's not a mortgage delinquency that we're discussing the, under that item. So, uh, okay, got it. <laughs> Any other changes? Here we go. I entertain a motion to approve the changes. Mm -hmm. Motion by Mr. Duffy. Second. Second by Mr. Paulson. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> At this time, Mr. Paulson, do you have something you yes. want? Yes. Yeah, I do. I would like to just take a few minutes to recognize the passing of, of Troy Morgan. He was a member of uh, this committee. Uh, he came to the committee well prepared. He was an active participant in the com committee meeting and he brought forward a lot of good ideas. Um, the county board has lost a very valuable member and I've lost a good friend. We'll miss him. So Ms. Lynch, would you please note in the minutes that we did pause up from our deliberations to recognize to Troy's passing? Certainly. Thank you, Mr. Paulson. I believe that we all will miss him. He was a very good contributor. Public comment. Oh, my hands up. Pardon? No hands up. Okay, thank you. Number seven, minutes of the previous meeting. I will be approved by Mr. President. I'll second. Motion by Mr. Duffy, second by Ms. Pettit to approve as presented. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor of the motion? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. And number eight, CDBD budget billing for information. I guess I would first ask, is everybody familiar with a CDB joke? CDBG loan is? No. No. Okay, so CDBG stands for Community Development Block Grant. Um, it's funds we got from the state of Wisconsin to loan out to homes for improvements on their residences. The program is administered for the county through Northwest Regional Planning, and the, the funds kind of roll. So they loan, I, I believe they're interest free loans. They loan the money out to families. Then when they sell a home or at some point, you know, they'll repay the loan. Then that loan is revolved into somebody else getting a new loan for their property. So kind of a revolving loan situation. This particular property, um, there's a CDBG loan for $42,730. Um, 
we're told that that's the only loan on this particular residence and that the county has got first uh, is first in line we're the only lien on the property now you know if you looked at the email that was put out um, apparently the property has been vacant for a few years maintenance hasn't been kept up on it um, the people that were living there now live out of state they're elderly the house has kind of been abandoned it sounds like uh, they've been trying to sell the property for a few years it hasn't been selling I guess in December, there was somebody who was maybe interested in purchasing the property, but not at the full amount to cover the balance of the loan to the county. I think there's also uh, one year's worth of delinquent property taxes, and then the taxes that are out now, they haven't been paid either. So there are some fees and expenses. If this property sells, there are some you know fees and expenses that need to be paid, and then whatever balance is left, the county gets. The question they're asking is, is, is the county willing to accept less than a $42,000 outstanding balance to help the property sell? The alternative is, is if we don't, if the property doesn't sell, it's likely the county is gonna get the property back through tax deed foreclosure in a few years. And it might, you know, it might cost more for us to dispose of the property at that time than just allow some reduced amount of this. That's the question with this one. How much is it going to be reduced? Do you know? Well, we don't. Um, there's not a specific request from Northwest Regional Planning. And I don't know, you know, has Sawyer County in the past done this? Or has, you know, I'm not sure what the procedure is here either. You know, does this need to go to Finance Committee or does it need to go to board? It's good enough. By going the way I understand, by going through North Coast Regional Planning, they're bringing here for our approval. So I would say probably find an answer to the full board because it's county property. That's what I would think. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> Mr. K Mr. Kinsley. Yes. Uh, Mike, are is are they asking to take less on the value of the house or are they asking? Must to contribute part of the delinquent property taxes? No, they're asking us to take less on the outstanding loan. Okay. Um, who who holds that loan? Is it the loan in Sawyer County's name or is it in Northwest Regional Planning's name? Well, the, the loan, I believe it's in Sawyer County's name, but I'm not positive on that one. Because I, I think that's what she said, Sawyer County is first in line. We have, Sawyer County has the only lien is what she told on it. Um, is the property listed by somebody? Yeah, yeah, it's for sales, all I know. I don't do know. Do you have an appraisal of what, is, what the fair market value is? Well, yeah. per the, I do. Per the tax statements, there's about 0.65 acres of land and, and a residence. For the tax statement value, the land is 15.6. The home was 32 for a total of 48.8. But it hasn't been selling either. And I don't know what they're listing. So they're calling it the end book for it because we hired Northwest Region Planning to operate the program for us. And so if we take less, what that means is, is the county isn't outlaying any money to make up the balance. We just have that much less to loan out in the future. Yeah. yeah. We don't really have a choice, but I guess you know, we take what we get. We only will so much. Right. What, what they always is secondary. So I think we have to have a trace of it done. And, um, and with that, we go ahead and take what we get. What, what is worth? It won't be worth any more. It isn't going to occupy it. It's going to go down, down, down. And next year is worth less. Um, vandalism and the mice take over the rats and, and so I think we cut our loss and get out as quick as we can and take what we get. And, and I'm not sure the urgency of this. Um, I asked them, she said there was a buyer in December. They came to the county and asked the county late in December if we were willing to take less. And we at that time just said, well, we need to take it to committees in January. So I don't know if the buyer's still there or not. 
I don't know how urgent this is. Yeah, I mean, potentially there was a, a buyer in December. Uh, that buyer is still around or not? We don't know what price they were looking at either. Um, you know, so all that is undetermined at this point. But we didn't want to proceed any further or make any deals without um, at least the committee being aware of uh, you know the potential uh, write off of a partial loan and a CDBG loan. So, is there a broker then? Who's the who's the buyer given? I I don't know if the owners have somebody. Or I, I don't know. The owners apparently are, are elderly and living with uh, relatives in Florida, and the house has been vacant for a while, so it's it's not going to be occupied until it gets sold. So, so what do we need to do here? This is the thing. This is going to tell you. Um, Mr. Kinsley. Yes. Um, if I understand correctly, uh, it. The county basically owns this property, or will own this property, if uh, if we foreclose on the uh, uh, on the mortgage, and we hold the mortgage, and uh, so then the county would be obligated to, I guess, tear down the house if it needed to be torn down. So at this point, I I think personally, I, I would be willing to accept less and to keep this property on the tax rolls. Here's the question that I have. Yes, we'll accept less, but I'm not going to give it to somebody because there's still the value of the land there. Is it in, right. the, in the city limits? Is it out in the country? Is there utilities there? Are we going to have the hook for the utilities? The, the utilities been disconnected? I just don't know that level of detail. Yeah, I, I understand it, but that's the kind of question I would like to have answered. Yes, I think we would. We're going to get a motion in a second to accept less, but I don't want to, you know, if they're going to give us thousand dollars, I don't want to take that much less. Right. right. Yeah, who's, who's going to negotiate this quest? Well, you answer the broker. Well, Northwest Regional Planning is responsible for dealing with the loans. Okay. We're, they're asking if, if we would allow them to do that. Yeah. Sure. And then to answer your question, we have to know what it's worth. Because the land is going to be worth something. I don't know that we have to tear it down. I mean, we have the county has property in the village of Radisson that is the shambles, and we don't tear that down. But there's still a value there. Yes, I understand what you're saying. Right. So, what kind of a motion do you make? Mr. Kinsley? Yes. Could I offer a suggestion that uh, we work with Northwest Regional Planning and that uh, Mike and Tom bring back to the committee? a value or a an offer price and we can determine at that time if we would be willing to accept less on well have the loan be underwater well jeremy i guess we have to find a buyer first i guess we can get northwest regional planning to give us a value but we still find a buyer to pay that value so i think we have to do first of all get northwest regional planning to give us a figure what it's worth and then who's out looking for a buyer? Is Northwest Regional Planning doing that? Um, I don't think they are. I think, it, I think there's a real estate agent. Yeah. yeah, I think so too. So we don't know whether, once we know the value, we still have to find this other buyer there. Well, we know that the minimum value is the value of the land. And if there's sewer, water, electric, that's worth something also. Or someone to put a value on. I mean, everybody has their own value. Yeah, we have an appraisal. Who's going to pay for the appraisal? But there's probably already been one done if Northwest Regional Planning has it. I think the bottom line is Northwest Regional Planning is asking, will we accept less? Yes, we accept less. But we probably should put a dollar amount on it. And I don't know if I want to put a dollar amount on it. Yeah, I don't know. No. 476. Great. Um, well, what if, just for discussion, um, it, we leave it today and we say, yes, we take less. We don't set them out. They get an offer, bring it back to us. Could we have a emergency finance committee meeting via Zoom to approve it or deny it? And then I guess the county board, are we still gonna go to the county board? So that, because I'm just concerned about delaying it too much in the winter summer. So I wanna wait another month for your meeting. I will twist to that. 
go through the whole session on full county board that way we advertise in the VA county board we talk about it we say we go down this far will that um, be in charge down to that far and then in less than that we have to have a special meeting that potentially can save us a special meeting because if someone's going to buy they might want to know can i buy it now or they might not want to get the drug out for a couple of months it's an idea well, they make an offer of subject to financing and whatever, all kinds of problems, you yep. know. Yep. So, I think the meeting from Northwest Regional Planning, yes, we'll take less, but what's, what's the value? What, what's the offer? Is there an offer, and how close is it to what it's worth? Yeah, that'll give you something to think about. So, I guess today, we'll, the answer is we'll take less. Do you want a motion? I need to do that. So, right now, Mr. Duffy's made a motion. But yes, we'll take less. Do we have a second? I'll second. So there's a motion by Mr. Duffy that yes, we'll take less. Second by Ms. Pennant. Any further discussion? Here's a question. Does it sound reasonable that we can put it on the full county board and that way we do have a, a bottom line that we drop down to and if they want to communicate with Mr. Hunt that way, we're available? What's your thought? Well, my thought is, is if they have an offer, we will. But if they don't, just you know, maybe just give us another month. Okay. Yeah. All right, we'll, we'll vote on the motion then. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Good conversation. Except you send it out. <laughs> Number nine. Well, Number nine, I asked to put that on the uh, on the agenda just as general information. Uh, that this is a finance committee calendar that uh, that I go by, and uh, just if anybody has any additions or questions, but this is really what we would go by. And the first, the item under January, the agreement with Northwest Regional Planning. Uh, in the past, we have signed, uh, the committees approved that, but uh, I think since Northwest Regional Planning, uh, the fees for Northwest Regional Planning were included in the budget that Mr. Hoff uh, would probably have the authority to, to assign a Northwest Regional Planning Agreement. Okay. Other than that, any questions or comments on, on the proposed calendar for 2021? I, I do have one, Bruce. Yeah. Um, under March, you have yeah. capital expenditures for 2022 to 2026. Yep. Um, in our normal schedule, we would do that throughout the summer. We would push that out for them in June to do their budget and their capital improvement plan and then return it to us by the end of August. Are you, want, are you asking that that process for capital be moved up? No, not necessarily. I just, I put that in there. When would you like to see, uh, under what month would you like to see the review of the capital expenditure budgets, the five-year projections? Well, I mean, normally it's part of the budget process. We don't get them back till the end of August. No, the end of July, I'm sorry, the end of July. Okay, so would the, you be okay with August to, to move that on to August then? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I have one item, Mr. Paulson. Yes. We wanted to job putting that together and it's a good guide for us. One of the things you listed with no date on is the second courtroom. Right. It's been three and a half years since we voted on that. We've spent quite a bit of money going in that direction I feel sooner or later we have to have that on the agenda of the full county board to know if we have enough votes to borrow the money to cover it if we move forward with that. Also, at the same time, I would like to know, it's been three and a half years, what has the county the county employees, what have they done to to uh, improve so that maybe we wouldn't have to have this second quarter? Six million dollars is buys a lot of programming. So somehow, some way, I'd like to see it get back in front of the full board to know if we have enough votes to borrow up all the money. Uh, I, I agree with you. 
uh, I guess I, my perspective is that Mr. Hoff should be the one who uh, I guess fixes the date. I don't know what it, what has happened uh, in the in the interim. I can. Um, I spoke with uh, Mr. Kane, the architect from uh, Venture Architects, on Monday. Uh, we had a conference call to discuss, um, you know, next steps as far as um, making a final determination on what that cost is. So we got uh, kind of a chicken and egg kind of thing with um, knowing the cost that it's going to be, and it, that does take more work and more resources, and we'll have to spend more money to get a more definitive answer on what the total cost will be. Um, yet we've also, you know, got the um, you know, feeling of the board of, you know, is this going to go or not? So, yeah, we do need to get that vote because to, to issue the debt for the courthouse, we do need three quarters vote of county board. Currently, we're short uh, two members of the county board, so we have a difficult time getting the three quarter vote just with the, the number of people present. Um, but I should have more information by uh, county board time too, as far as the process on bidding uh, for the services of architects and um, uh, engineering that, that's required to get a, a firm cost if that's where we're gonna go with it. So we're trying to work through that process. So what would be a good month for the uh, committee to review uh, the debt resolution and pass it on to the county board? Could we do it in March, February, March? Well, it depends on how firm of a number you want. I mean, uh, if we don't have a firm number, I mean, we can do it at any time. Um, but the less solid information we have, the more cushion we would probably need to make sure that uh, we can make it happen with uh, what's in the resolution. Um, and so, like I say, it's going to require uh, some more work on architect and engineering to get a firmed up uh, Cost. You know, that was pretty general, uh, the cost that we had before based on square footage and whatnot. So now when we go in and, and itemize uh, the details of the plan um, and get a more firm number, you know, then, then you'll have a, a better idea exactly where we are or, or need to be. So again, uh, you know, the sooner we do it, uh, the less information we have. But we do need to spend some money to get that done as well. So. If we're, if we're not willing to spend any money on it, then maybe we should bring it forward and just see what the inclination is on the board. Because um, right now, we are under the direction to proceed. So we are proceeding. Mr. Chair, what's the status of the Fifth Street renovation? The city is preparing um, that construction for early spring. So as soon as they can get in to do that construction, they will do the California Avenue extension and uh, the Fifth Street closure. So that is online with the city. They're they're making those arrangements. Yes. Yep. Because that, that was approved by both uh, county board and city council uh, to proceed. Well when can when should the uh, finance committee consider some of the issues? Uh, if we need to spend more money um, we would have to go back to the county board, correct? It's an unbudgeted item. Well, it, it's budgeted in the big uh, dollar amount for the courthouse. You know, we've got that big number in capital improvement. Right. Uh, so, you know, anything that we spend would, would be funded by debt and covered uh, under that scenario. So it, technically it's, it's budgeted, but we are, you know, don't have the funding side of it. Um, approved by the board. So, you know, that piece has to happen before we're going to spend money on it. So when should we do it? I think we should do it in February. Go with the numbers that we have and see if there's enough vote to approve the numbers that we have at the time before we spend more money. That's my thought. I'm, I'm okay with that. Uh,
Mr. Paulson, you want to repeat that, please? You're kind of cut out on us, please. Pardon me? I'm sorry? You kind of cut out on us. Can you repeat that, please? Oh, I, I said I'm okay with the February uh, agenda. I, and I was going to I asked Tom if how he felt about it. Yeah, well, we can certainly put it on the agenda. Like I said, I'll, I'll update uh, with the latest information at County Board this month, and then uh, we'll continue to uh, get better information by February. So we can, you know, if the intention is to do something in February with uh, the information we have by then, we will put something before you. Okay, good. So we'll put that on the February ag agenda then. Yes. Anything else we want to okay. regarding the calendar? And the question is that on the county board agenda or the finance that you're okay. Okay. Cool. Number 10, finance department goals, 21. <laughs> um, well, I guess Bruce had asked that you put some goals down for this upcoming year. And I don't know if these are truly goals or just projects that I uh, kind of want to do. Um, so the first one I put on there, financial system user security settings. Um, this is for a new world. There's a number of employees who have access to the new world system where we set security settings so they can only get into their areas. Um, I'd, I'd like to work on um, making it a little bit more efficient using templates. It's just, um, it just takes time. It's not a difficult thing, it just takes time. And I've been doing it a little bit along the way, but I'd like to make it a little bit more of an emphasis this year. Good. Uh, employee finance group meetings. I used to have Finance people in the different departments, we would meet once a month, every other month, kind of a deal, and it kind of fell by the wayside. I think it was a good thing, it just fell apart. I'd like to probably implement that again with people. Um, I like to improve our fixed asset procedures. Um, it's just kind of you know, during the year when people buy fixed assets, capital equipment kind of things, it just kind of sits there until the end of the year, and then we come back and we okay how much did we spend on this how much on this now i got to enter into the fixed asset system i got to get it on the insurance list for insurance reporting i just i'd like to make a better emphasis on improving that procedure and doing it throughout the year instead of waiting until the end of the year um, payroll review payroll processing um, payroll has been moved under um, my guidance i guess at this point um, I'd just like to review the procedures that are in place, what can we change, what can we do better. Um, you know, with payroll, there's a lot involved. It's not just putting checks out, but it's there's <coughs> all kinds of codes, hours codes, benefits codes, deduction codes, uh, going through all of that. It just takes time. Um, and the other thing, I, after the fact, um, you know, every time we go through the budget cycle, people always saying, well, where is it on the website? And you know, I take the blame for that because I don't even think about putting the information on the website, but I'd, I'd like to try to do a better job of getting stuff on the website. I would need on my television. <laughs> Uh, so I, I don't know. That's just some of what I've got. Um, I don't know, Bruce, if you had something in mind you were hoping for. No, I guess, you know, it, it I, mean, I was a bit hesitant to even ask for it because I think goals and objectives could be part of the administration. And I, I thought, Tom, I thought that we were going to do goals and objectives uh, at the admin committee. Did, is, did that happen? No, not yet. Um, that's that's on the list. Okay, I I didn't have any additions. Uh, Mike, uh, 
Are there any other committee members, is there anything else we would like Mike to work on during 2021? I have a question. Um, uh, finance is under, under you or however you want to call it now. Do you, do you do evaluations of the people under your department head? As you do in the department head? Do I do evaluations of? Or your I have not. I, mean, I haven't really had anybody underneath me until now. Yeah. Just throw it out there because I believe that should be done. Thank you. Mm -hmm. and if there's nothing else, we'll move to number 11, supplement information. Questions regarding the sales tax grants? Yes. Diane, does anything stand out that you want to point out to us? Things are looking good other than I've got to discuss with Lynn. She's put previous years out there that aren't necessary. That's okay. I know who's that. How's it going collecting taxes? We're very busy. Towns are doing a good job. Well, it comes from a good leader. I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. It comes from a good leader. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Any questions for Diane? Thank you for all you do, Diane. Thank you. Number 12, other matters for discussion only. Anybody have anything? Bruce, Don, do you have anything for other matters for discussion only? No, I don't. No, I don't. Um, no, I, I'll try to have some preliminary numbers for the next meeting, but uh, uh, we'll learn that. Everything is early, but it comes fast, and we all know things change as we go. Yeah. So that meeting adjourned. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, Ron. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.